Okay, looking at the last two from 15.7, um, on this first one, we're going to use our properties of logarithms to write this as a condensed uh, singular logarithm, and I'll write log of x over x minus 5. And then on this side, remember, we have our subtraction correlates to division, and then we have log of a base 10 of 6. So here we can cancel out our logarithms here. And we get x over x minus 5 equals 6. Okay. And then we can uh, think about that as uh, 6 over 1 um, and do some cross multiplying. Okay. Cross multiplying gives me uh, 6x minus 30 from here and then x. And then I'll subtract x and add 30. What I get is 5x equals 30 and divide by 5. x equals 6. Good idea to check it out. I'm not as nervous about it if it's a positive number, but still I want to run a check on it to make sure it works. Okay. Next up, uh, this one we can combine into a singular logarithm again. So I'll write a uh, log of uh, x squared minus 5x plus 4 over x minus 4. And this side doesn't have a logarithm on it. So what I could do is say, well, you know, I don't like this in logarithm form. I'm going to change this out and put it in exponential form. So I got 10 to the fourth equals. Um, I'm going to factor this so equals uh, x minus 4, x minus 1 over x minus 4. Okay, so just a little note here just in case you missed it, but I'm, I'm factoring that. Well, here I have a matching binomial. Okay, so that'll cancel out. Um, 10 to the fourth is 10,000, so I have 10,000 equals x minus 1. Okay. And then I'll add 1 to both sides. And I just noticed, it's kind of funny, I have a little mistake on my note packet. I subtracted 1, and so this might be slightly different than your note packet if I don't get it updated. But hopefully you can follow along and uh, catch my error on the note packet. That wraps up 15.7. One more section left, uh, applications of logarithms.